hey what's up guys welcome to the second selenium web driver tutorial again my name is abhilash and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use some more uh, selenium ide commands as you can see we have something called as command target and value columns in selenium ide uh, command is uh, the action that you are going to perform like opening a url typing some value in a text box or clicking somewhere on the web page the target is the web page element so as you can see it can be a URL of a web page it can also be a locator okay so locator is uh, nothing but it's a kind of uh, it's a it's a method uh, using which you locate a particular web page element and uh, we will be uh, looking into some more types of uh, locators that uh, are supported by selenium ite and uh, selenium web driver in the upcoming tutorials and uh, the value consists of uh, if uh, you want to some if you want to pass some kind of values to that particular web page elements so basically we are going to see in this tutorial how we can use some more selenium ite commands uh, in order to uh, automate the testing of web page applications so as you can see i have uh, renamed the test case that we had previously created in the last tutorial to test one okay so basically in this tutorial we are going to see uh, commands such as uh, opening a url in a particular tab and opening the url in another window so we can quickly create a new test case okay apart from uh, recording actions that we have seen in the last tutorial uh, we can manually type the commands in the command text box over here so as you start typing okay you get different commands in the drop down list so basically what we want over here is uh, open okay so this command will open a particular url that uh, you will be specifying in the target column so basically we are going to open the same url so we just copy it and uh, paste in the target okay so this is the only thing that is required as far as opening a url is concerned it doesn't take any value input and another command that we are going to learn today is uh, open window so basically the difference between open and open window is in open the url will be open in the same window that is uh, currently active and the open window will uh, open another window and the url will be opened in the new window so whatever url we specify in the target and if the command is open window the url will open in another new web browser window so if we paste it over here in the target and uh, this is done and as you can see if we open a new tab and close the previous one okay if you execute this test case as you can see it has opened this new window and it has also opened the url that was uh, based on this open command so basically this is the way you can uh, open a url in a new window if it is required we can quickly save this test case as uh, test 2 okay so basically uh, that's it for this particular test case and one more thing i wanted to mention is uh, suppose if you want to execute a single command that is just open window in in this particular test case so what you can do is you can uh, right click this command and uh, click on execute this command so basically uh, this is just going to execute one single command instead of uh, executing the entire test case so basically as you can see okay uh, it has opened a new window and has opened a new url in that particular window instance so basically this is the way we can uh, use open and open window 
okay we'll also look into some more commands like uh, click and click and wait so basically we can quickly create a new test case we type the command click this is basically the action that is required whenever we want to click on a particular web page element so basically we can uh, click on click we can click on any particular web page element and uh, we specify the command as click and the target over here can be any web page element so as you can see uh, we have something called as a uh, firebug which uh, helps us to locate the web page element so you can quickly install it as it is a firefox add-on and in firebug we have something called as inspect element so in this way you can inspect it after clicking over here on this particular small arrow cursor okay and if you click on a web page element say suppose login in this case you can see i have assigned uh, an id to this particular button so basically you can just copy this login and target you can specify as id equals and paste that id of that button and if you find if you click on this find button in selenium ide it will highlight that button for you so basically in this way we can uh, locate the web page elements using selenium ide so this feature of selenium ide we will be using when uh, we will be working with selenium web driver so basically for now you can find this login and you can click on it okay so this is the command which uh, clicks on a particular web page element it can be anything it can be a button in this case it can be a radio button or checkbox or any other web page element okay another command that we are going to learn in this tutorial is uh, click and wait so basically if uh, any particular hyperlink or a button which redirects you to another web page okay, which needs time to be loaded in that case we can use a click and wait command so in selenium ide what happens is after any particular command is executed it uh, quickly moves to the next command so basically whenever we need some kind of uh, wait so uh, it for for the new page to open uh, we can use this uh, click and wait command and wait for the page to load entirely and then it can execute the next command so basically the target over here is going to be same in this case so paste it and if you find okay we have this okay so if you execute this command as you can see uh, it has displayed invalid username and password since we have uh, not specified the username and password in this case but uh, that's the way we can use uh, click and uh, click and wait command click is uh, a basic click on uh, a particular web page element and uh, click and wait will be used if uh, you will be redirected to a particular web page which will take time to load so basically it uh, takes more time and it will move to the next command only when the entire page on the web pages on the web browser is loaded so that's it in this tutorial catch you guys in the next tutorial